And if you are going to head out for some coffee this afternoon, well, we are still in the 70s. So we're in the chillier side of things this afternoon. 78 degrees. That is your current temperature at the airport. Winds only at 7 miles per hour. But as you're heading out the door, we'll be in those 80s. So maybe some iced coffee. Come 8 o'clock, 80 degrees is what we're forecasting. We're hitting our expected high today by 3 p.m. at 84 degrees. 81 by your 6 o'clock. So beautiful temperatures. However, I did want to talk about Hurricane Ian a little bit just to update you on what's happening. So yesterday we talked about how it made landfall as a category four hurricane very close to a category five. It has now weakened into a tropical storm, which is lower than a category one. So that's very good news, but it was definitely a long night in central Florida. Most of it was overnight. There was definitely a lot of damage and there's been reports of over two million people losing power overnight. And I did want to show you some footage that was sent to our newsroom. So this is actually some fires created from those power outages. So even with that heavy rain, they got to see a fire. Traffic lights were destroyed, of course, with those strong winds as well as trees and just a lot of damage. But I did want to show you our radar as well. So right now it's mostly in the coastline, shoreline, close to Jacksonville, Lakeside, St. Augustine, Palm Coast. We move up north a little bit. They're still seeing a lot of flood watches, flood warnings, but you'll notice it's moving back into the ocean. So that's good news. However, it's going to make a second landfall like we talked about into Georgia, South Carolina, and most likely into North Carolina as well. So we'll keep you updated on that storm, but the worst of it is finally over. Turning things back at home, we'll send moisture in the northwest. We're staying on the drier side of things for today, but we are seeing some moisture and some cloud coverage moving in from that sto uh, storm towards the south of Mexico. So like we talked about, only 10% chance of rain tomorrow for your Friday, so really nothing to worry about. Save those car washes for Saturday. So Saturday will be in the clear, but as far as your expected highs today, looking at 74 in Silver City, 82 in Deming, 80 in Tier C, 85 in Juarez. And here's how we compare. On average, we should be hovering close to 85 degrees this time of year. We're expecting a high of 84. So we're staying in those seasonal temperatures throughout your weekend. And next week, like I said, 10% chance of rain on Friday, as well as Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.